What's going on guys? So if you were looking for a low cost gift for someone special around Christmas time, or if you're simply looking for something to add to your collection of useful tools that you just want to carry around with you in the event of an emergency, this might be something you're interested in. Hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, so in the world of portable air compressors, there are a lot of them. You can find a lot of them all over the internet, and the price range of them varies greatly from super, super cheap to super, super, super expensive. In front of you, you were looking at a relatively low-cost solution. So for under $90, this is a Bulldog automatic air compressor, 100 PSI. And what does automatic mean? Automatic means you set it for the PSI that you wish for the tire to be inflated to, or whatever you're inflating to, and then it will shut off whenever it gets there, which is is really nice. We'll go over a couple specs here and then we'll go ahead and unbox this thing and see what it's all about. First of all, it includes a carrying bag, 1.2 CFM. You set the desired air pressure and it automatically shuts off when it achieves that air pressure. Displays current tire pressure whenever you hook this up to your tire. And it also has an amber emergency safety light with a constant and flash mode operation. This is designed to work with your standard 12 volt jack. And this means, unfortunately, there is no direct plug in access on newer GMC or Chevrolet vehicles that don't have 12 volt jacks. Okay, so, real quick before we unbox this, let's go over what's included 20 foot air hose, 10 foot power cord, inflation adapters, has a storage pocket for the adapters, rubber feet to minimize vibration, noise, and water which is essentially when it's running where it vibrates itself across the ground. Digital screen, emergency safety light, and power cord storage compartment with carrying bag. It's kind of interesting for being something that's relatively low cost, it actually has some pretty innovative features that you would kind of wish your more expensive units would have. Anyways, let's get it unboxed. Okay, so here it is. First of all, it's a lot smaller than I thought it was. I thought it was gonna be pretty much the size of the box. The hose itself is a very, very small diameter air hose. Again, 20 feet of air hose. That's probably if you're like fully extending it. Um, it seems as if it's more practically probably around 10 to 15 feet. Okay. Yes, far more compact than the box would have you believe, which is really nice. This is uh, much smaller. It's probably about three inches narrower and about two inches shorter than I originally thought it was going to be. So that's actually kind of refreshing. Again, this isn't made for super, super high pressure applications because it has a 100 PSI maximum limit to it. And from a power perspective, you have your power cord and everything tucked back here. It's 12 volts, so you're going to have to have a 12 volt cigarette lighter style adapter. 10 foot cord comes with it. So it has a nice length to the cord. Has a standard fill adapter right here, and this is directly connected into it. So this specific adapter is made for your standard Schrader valve. And then again, you have this expansion right here, so you would simply screw this into the end like that and then you have a Schrader valve connection on the other end as well and of course it does have the adapters which are probably in the back storage so let's go ahead and flip it over so you can see that okay so here are all your adapters you have a ball filling adapter you have two rapid fill adapters as well if you're going to be filling inflatable items um, it would have been nice if they included a Presta fill adapter on here as well, um, just so if you have, you know, certain bicycles that have a Presta valve instead of a Schrader valve, that would have come in handy. All right, I have a power source over here to the side. We'll go ahead and get this plugged into. Okay, we'll have power to it right now. Okay, so you can see the nice display here. You simply set your PSI to where you want it to be, and then whenever it gets there, it'll shut off automatically. You have the ability to turn on your flashing light here. This is a normal incandescent bulb. It would be cool if they had an LED bulb here, though, where you can keep it on constantly. 
I guess if you're on the side of the road or if you're changing your tire or if you're airing up your tire, you would kind of have this pointed towards oncoming traffic so they could at least see that you're sitting next to the side of the road and hopefully they're not on their phone and they will stop or go around where you're at. Right here's your unit so you can change from PSI to bar. Pretty simple setup. It's not terribly loud either. Nice. So yeah, so the way this would work is once you put power to it or you plug it in, it's gonna come on automatically. You set it to the desired PSI that you want, connect it to your tire, and then press the power button and it will kick the unit on. Again, to turn your light on right here, and then to change from PSI to bar. Overall, it's pretty cool. It's, it's smaller again than I thought it was. It's significantly smaller than I thought it was. I thought it was gonna be much more substantial because the box itself, the picture kind of makes it feel as if it's gonna be something you grab like this versus something like this. Um, only about the width of my hand. So again, it's a very small device. And for, and for under $90, this is a great tool to keep with you. Uh, just in the event you have a flat tire on your RV, on your tow vehicle, Again, if you have a newer Chevy or GMC truck uh, that does not have 12 volt outlets in it, you would need a converter to convert from one of your 110 outlets to a 12 volt outlet, so you could plug this into that. But overall, pretty cool, I gotta admit. Um, affordable, you know, that's kind of the key here. It's under 100 bucks, and it's something that you can easily get as a gift for somebody. You could use it in all sorts of different environments. If you have a plug in the back of your truck, you could probably even use this to top off your Reese Goose Box or any other type of air required solutions. Just understand your limitations, 100 PSI max, which means if you have anything that requires anything higher than that, you're not gonna be able to fill it up to that. Plus, some things that you're gonna to wanna to know, which are your duty cycles, it has a 10 minute maximum duty cycle, which means this thing's only gonna be able to operate for 10 minutes, um, and then you're gonna want it to take a break, which also means it's gonna take a while to fill up some of your larger tires. Don't expect this to be a fast solution. Um, I like to explain things from a practical perspective. You're looking at quite a bit of time if you're gonna fill up a flat tire to full. It'll probably at least take you five to 10 minutes. So just keep that in mind. Um, these are not quick solutions to rapidly inflating tires. These are, I'm on the side of the road, I need air in my tire, or I'm about to leave the campground, my tire looks a little low, let's go ahead and get it topped off. Uh, that's the type of solution that this is. Again, just understanding what something like this is used for, I think makes the most sense, and it keeps you from buying a product and then regretting it because it doesn't meet that performance need that you're specifically looking for or that you thought it would meet. Anyways, sure hope you enjoyed the video. My uh, channel sponsor, eTrailer.com, carries this as well as all sorts of other products from the Bulldog Winch Company. Uh, they make all sorts of cool things, including, naturally, winches. But if you uh, enjoyed the video, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.